Stephen, I know you spoke before the game to Colin about wanting to finish strong before the break, and that seemed to happen out there. Yeah, it was obviously a great performance um, to get any any wicket and, and to get 221, but I thought probably it was probably about 40 over par. Um, you know, the, the outfield was absolutely rapid, small boundaries, but I think the way Ben Duckett played and the lads, uh, Alex, enjoying the power play to get us off to that start was, was magnificent. And then, you know, I managed to get a few out of the middle at the end to get us up to that total. And then I think the bowling performance, again, you know, keeping simple plans in the power play, not panicking if we get hit for a couple of sixes. Um, I thought Zach Chappell did a great job and then Calvin did what he does and got four wickets in the middle. Talk about your innings first, I suppose. Um, not that anybody scored particularly slowly today, but was there a, a deliberate effort there to really up the impetus when you came in? Not really, no. I, you know, I got, look, I got full toss first ball to the short burn and managed to get it away. And then I just thought that, you know, that was an over that they had to try and fill in because, you know, we all hope that Brad and Cass is, is fine after his hitting the head um, but I just felt that that was an over to target it doesn't really matter if you've been in or not um, I just backed myself to go and luckily it came off. What sort of challenge do you think it poses the bowlers to have bowled at you and Ben Duckett together with Duckett maybe scoring more square of the wicket and you hitting those those big maximums at the other end? Yeah you know I think that happens quite a lot in our team I think you see it with Joe Clark who plays a lot more leg side and then um, same with Lyndon in the four day stuff I don't know yeah I think we hit in different areas um, and luckily today we've got a few at the middle. It's been a bowling attack that's um, much changed from last year and has seen quite a few changes even through this tournament with players in and out with England, etc. So how much confidence does it give you as a captain to know that anyone you turn to can, can take wickets and keep the rate down? I think that's one thing, one massive bonus. I think we've had the, we had you know the luxury of these last two games of having, leaving Fletch to have a rest before a big 50-over tournament for him. Um, and having a look at Zach and Dane, obviously with Jake away as well. So I thought Zach was magnificent today. Uh, he actually bowled well at Leicester and didn't get the look that he deserved. Um, but yeah, we've had a luxury, but you know, it's great because if Fletcher or Bowley aren't around for the quarter-final, then one of these two lads is going to have to play. And you know, I think that you know, we're in a great position. I think that we've, we should be very confident going into that quarter-final when we come back in a, in a month's time. In terms of the spin attack as well, maybe Matthew Carter hasn't took the headlines all the way through the competition, but I think today became the, the second leading spinner in Knott's T20 history. What have you made of his progression in the last few years? I think he's magnificent. I think you know, just on on the uh, the team, you know, it has changed. And I think over the last three or four years, we've found a formula by the end of the group stages, and they've all been very different, um, which has been magnificent to see. You know, first couple of games you take to find your feet, um, and then we talk about peaking at the right time. So I think we're in a, a good position. We've played really well, but we can still we've still got improvement going into that quarter final and hopefully finals there. Over the last decade or so, plenty of quarterfinals here at Trenton Bridge, a couple of away ones as well. From all those experiences, what difference does it make to the team to be able to have that prospect of playing here for that game? Yeah, I think I heard that we've got 10 out of the last 11 at home, I think. Um, yeah, it's massive. Hopefully we've got a full crowd in for that as well. We get it bouncing and, and get Sweet Caroline on. Um, but yeah, it, you know, our first aim is, is to get out of the group and then get a home quarterfinal, and we've done that so far. But we know it's job, job only half done. And a word on Joe Clark as well, who performed well at the top of the order today and got his county cap before play. Yeah, he did. Um, fully deserved. I made up for him. Um, you know, he's, he's been playing so well all year. I think, he, you know, by his own admission in the championship, he's been disappointed not to go on because he's had a lot of starts. Um, but, yeah, he's a superstar. And, you know, I, I hope he gets the chance. I think it's if, uh, when, not if, for England uh, because, he's, yeah, he's a superb talent.